What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Georgia Sports Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss anything from me. But let's go ahead and get right into the update. Starting off with John Collins, as you guys know, he has declined in his production as of lately, averaging only about 13.1 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 1.2 assists in about 34 games, while shooting 49.6% from the floor and 23.6% beyond the arc now it shows that the Atlanta Hawks have now agreed to give his camp and himself permission to do their own searching for a trade partner ahead of NBA's February 9th deadline as you guys have been hearing in the reports that his asking price has actually went down it's declined significantly according to sources um, now, even though they are getting out there and is allowing him to also have some decisions on where he want to move next, doesn't mean that he's not going to remain Atlanta Hawks player. As you guys know, he is still on the clock as far as through the 2024 and 2025 season as he signed that um, five-year deal back in 2021 for about $125 million with that extension. And that it deal did include a player option for the 2025 and 2026 season. So yes, they're giving the go for him to start making his decisions. Uh, doesn't mean that he's exiting this team as of yet. Sorry, I said the word like that, but. And like I said, this is a disclaimer. These are just reporting. This is nothing solid as of yet, but now the talks may start to begin to be a bit more solid at this point. So we'll see how that goes as that deadline is coming up, but yeah just there needs to be some switch ups in the second half if we're going to remain pretending because right now we're just not doing as great um but we have been winning lately so it might be looking up just a little bit let's just hope for better days to come as well as there has been other news about um trey young it's been reported that he actually had a fine slapped on him back after that um, playoff run last season against the Miami Heat that was game two. Apparently, he opted out to fly back to Atlanta on a private jet, um, but he decided against joining his teammates on a plane together. And because he didn't tell the team about his decision, they decided to find him. So that just shows a little bit of what the communication is with the team currently as far as Trey Young. Now, it's not a red flag or it doesn't mean too much of a panic there, but it makes you wonder, you know, why did he decide not to travel with the team? And it could have been he just decided, you know what, I just need a little bit of peace, you know, and that's okay. But I think the only thing they was having an issue with is they didn't, he didn't inform the team of how he was going to be traveling back home. So, but that's all I got as far as the news and updates for you guys. Nothing else out there right now. Just continue to support the team. Show up and show out because we need y'all right away because we really got to get back to winning. Until the next time, it's Maggie T with Georgia Sports Nation. And I'm out, people. Excuse me. <clears throat> Peace.